Hey guys, welcome back to Landscape Alert, where this week I am going to show you how to put the scale in your drawing for your concepts design. So this is the one I'm talking about over here. You kind of see a few different scales over here. Kind of you have one of the classic ones where it tells you what the scale of the drawing is. So you're going to have a few different uh, measurements. So you kind of see it here. But now we're going to go to the actual drawing over here. So now that you kind of have your drawing open, we are going to do a few things in order to get this. The first thing is that we are going to go to the paper size. And depending on what you want to draw and how big you want this drawing to be, you are going to select a few things to get this right. First is going to be the actual page that you want to draw in. Is it going to be a 24 by 18, smaller, bigger? What is going to be the size of that? If you happen to have a regular printer, you may want to do the classic 11 by 8.5. From that point on, depending on how big this space that you're working on, you're gonna go down here and get your scale. Let's say that this time is one inch equals, I don't know, five feet. You're gonna put five in this one, and then instead of having the inch, you're gonna put to feet. And then once you have that adjusted, this is gonna be your actual page here. So how do we do this over here? How do we get this uh, measurements and everything else? Well, you can do it a few ways. But the way that I would suggest for now to get started is once you have everything else set up, you're going to do the measurements, snap and guide. So this is important right here with the guide. And the way you want to use this is that you want to open this and get your line. And from that point, you are going to measure something. So let me remove for now, kind of get it close over here. So let's say this corner over here, I'm going to click on it again. Actually, I just moved the guide over here, kind of bring it over. And I'm going to say that is, uh, I don't know, put for now 20 feet. You'll see why in a second. I'm going to move this one over here. It's, it's going to be adjusted in a minute, so just bear with me. You'll see what I'm doing in just a second. Click it one more time. Do the a whole 20 feet again one more time. There it is. Now, if you click on it, it's going to allow you to stay with that measurement. So if you move it, you still have the 20 feet there. So you can always print it with this one, but if you don't, you can get a guide uh, by downloading a PNG or a JPEG uh, from uh, Google, literally, and convert that to one that has uh, non-transparency or even just that itself. So I already have one here. I wanna show you how that works. It does take a couple of tries, but it definitely does work. So over here, I'm going to grab this and I'm gonna open it the way I need it here and to match it as close as possible here and then there it is this is pretty close and there i have it i'm gonna cl click on the outside and from that point on i can literally erase where it says the scale one equals 10 inch so by doing this maybe literally putting something over it on that specific layer I am going to cover it up pretty much over here. So you kind of see that right there. Um, if I could always make it even nicer if I want to, of course, it's going to be up to you however you want to pursue that part. But I'm going to do all that. I want to remove snap and measurement at this point. Then I'm just going to draw this in. And then what you want to do is this here where you have a capital A and a small A. You click on that one, you click where you want it, and then you are going to literally write in there the one inch equals, right there, the five feet. You press done, and there it is. So now you have the scale that one foot equals, or one inch equals five feet. So there you start drawing your lines after that. At that point, you can literally do whatever you decide in terms of if you are just want to draw something there. So let's say that uh, you use your ruler again, which is something I didn't talk about last time. But in there, you're gonna have a few options, line, arc, angle, ellipse, and rectangle. Just says rec, but you know what I mean. It that means that exact thing. So you click on it and from there on it pretty much gives you a guide to draw in it so just to give you a bit of an example you can have the rectangle we're gonna go now to uh, ellipse and if you click on it it's going to give you a perfect circle 
so you kind of draw it there and then from there we can go to uh, angle to give you like a nice 90 degree angle per its name you click on it there and you're gonna go through the rest and I already show you the line it's gonna be pretty much all of them that there are here but that is the basics to one get you your scale on your drawing and of course as I mentioned before it's going to depend on how big of a page you are going to be drawing on if this is a small one or a large one you are going to adjust to that and how big you want this drawing to be but this is a perfect example if you have just a regular printer at home and you're going to draw something and you want to print it out and you want to measure it or give it to somebody for them to use it as a measuring literally paper keep in mind that this is this goes along with this scales over here on the side that I'm kind of showing you right now on screen and pretty much you would do something like this when you start measuring you know what is the size of the drawing well there it is anyways guys I hope that this information is good let me know your thoughts on this I want to show you guys more of the basics on how to get all this across anyways guys don't forget the model over here which is dream design create and I will see you guys on the next video take care don't forget to subscribe and like. All right, bye-bye.